your Grand Island tastings and Kearney local forecast. Well, good afternoon, uh, Nebraska. We are seeing those temperatures around the area. Pretty comfortable this afternoon as we look at some of those temperatures. We have been, uh, for the most part, in the 80s through across much of the area. So mid to upper 80s for our temperatures at this hour. But as we head over the next several hours, we're going to see those temperatures start to cool down just a little bit. So it's going to be a pretty pleasant evening as we have temperatures dropping through the 80s into the 70s by around uh, midnight. We'll be in the mid 70s. And we'll be dropping into the 60s overnight. As well, so it's going to be a pretty mild night, pretty typical of what we see for the midsummer. But as we head over the next couple of days, tomorrow on Sunday is going to still be pretty hot. We're still going to get back up into the 90s, but then over the next couple of days, we will see those temperatures actually getting into the 80s. So as we take a look at the seven day forecast, we will be seeing those temperatures continuing to stay pretty mild over the next week or so. So we start off a little bit wet, but then we will see those temperatures warm up a little bit as the rain clears out. Out, and we'll be right back into the 90s as we head into next week as well. So we'll be seeing another break from the heat this week. We have had a couple of 90s already in the month of August, which is pretty typical of August. We rarely don't see a 90 degree temperature around the uh, eighth month of the year. Personally, it's my favorite month because it's my birthday month. But looking across the temperatures right now, we do see those temperatures mostly in the 80s along the entire Interstate 80 corridor. But the heat index values are a little bit warmer into the 90s for some of us but we do have some high dew points right now so that does help out those uh, heat index values get pretty high winds out of the south so that sort of acts as that blowtorch mechanism we sometimes talk about bringing the heat from the south and really blows it right across your skin makes it feel a little bit warmer it's not that nice summer breeze it's just when it's so hot you don't really uh, get to enjoy a nice cool breeze like that satellite and radar last night we had a lot of rain off towards the eastern half of the state that did push off out of the state earlier this morning and then we had one thunderstorm that was off towards the panhandle that did have a severe thunderstorm warning. But as it moves into our viewing area right there, just the uh, very western part of our viewing area, it was downgraded out of severe range. But we could still be seeing some heavy rain showers in Chase and Perkins County as well. There is a marginal risk of uh, severe weather this afternoon. But again, that's mostly off towards the west. It's not here in the Tri-Cities area. But as we head to tomorrow, we are going to be seeing this frontal system that's driving the severe weather. It's going to to shift just a little bit closer to the Tri-Cities, but the major risk is going to be off towards Iowa and Minnesota, so it's not going to be major severe weather here for the Tri-Cities area, fortunately. Now, as we track out future casts now, we will be seeing a few rain showers across the area, but it's not going to be very widespread, so I'll go ahead and put this into motion now. As we see a few showers and uh, some light uh, clouds coming through overnight tonight, it's not going to be a complete and total washout, but this is sort of not representing all of the rain in those clouds. So I'm thinking we might be seeing just a little bit more scattered rain showers than this shows here on Futurecast. As we head into Sunday afternoon, though, notice we do have a few more heavy thunderstorms rolling through that could be producing some heavy rain and possibly some uh, strong winds. So as we head on now, we are going to be seeing our temperatures overnight tonight will be getting down into the 60s overnight. It's not going to be an overly cool night. We did have some temperatures last week that were in the 50s, but that's not going to be the case for us. We're actually going to be closer to 70 than we will be close to the 50s. So off towards our east in the Lincoln area, they are going to be seeing a pretty warm night tonight with those temperatures creeping back up into the 90s tomorrow afternoon. So it's hot, but it's August, so kind of it's hot, sense. but yeah, it, it's August. That's what we typically expect, but we are on the trend down to cooler weather in the next coming months. All right, can't go wrong there. I also heard during that forecast that it's your birthday month, correct? Yes, it's actually my birthday day today. I was going to pick on you because want, I want knew that. There. See, I wanted to say happy birthday. Make it on live TV because now we can post it on social media. Mom and dad can see it, everything else. Leo's unite. All right, thank you, Kit. Well, coming up next.